In this question, we are required to prepare receipts and payments account of XYZ Sports Club as on 31st December 2005. Now students, the information given here is opening cash balance, salaries paid, rent paid, subscription received, interest paid, sale of old papers, purchase of chairs. Now students, the format of receipts and payment account goes like this. Receipts and payments account of XYZ Sports Club for the year ending 31st December 2005. Debit side is the receipt side, credit side is the payment side. Now remember, receipts and payments account is always prepared on cash basis. That is, it is immaterial whether the expenses or the receipts which are being made in cash are for this year or for previous year or next year. Plus, there is also no distinction between capital and revenue items. That is, whether the cash is received or paid on account of capital or revenue items. Everything has to be included in receipts and payments account. So, let us start with opening cash balance. To balance brought down, which is 50,000. Then we have salaries paid. Since it involves payment, that means on the credit side, we'll write by salaries, which comes to or which is given to be 20,000. Then we have rent paid. Again, it is a payment. So by rent account, payment is of 10,000 rupees. Then students, we have subscription received. It is something which we are receiving during the year. Two subscription eighty thousand. Then we have interest paid by interest account five thousand. Then we have sale of old papers and magazines, etc. Remember, it is a source of revenue or income. So, to sale of old papers, that is 5,000. Then we have purchase of chairs. Although it is a capital item, it involves furniture. It's a capital item, but in this receipts and payments account, there is no distinction between capital and revenue items. So it will be taken as a payment by chairs, or you can also write it as purchase of furniture. 10,000 on the credit side. All the entries have been put in here. Let us total it out and find the balance. The total on the debit side is 1,35,000. Out of this 1,35,000, we will deduct 45,000, which gives us a balance of, by balance carried down, 90,000. This 90,000 represents the closing balance of cash at the end of accounting period which is ending on 31st December 2005.